Hey, Robert Murray here, and in this video, I want to show you how um, the updates in GrooveMail and also setting up a form inside of GrooveMail. Um, I'm very fortunate enough to be one of the first to be accessing it and um, being able to start testing it out. So let's jump in the video and um, cue the intro. Okay, so I'm building out um, a page here for TikTok, and obviously this button here, I'm going to want to add a pop-up. So I'm going to go into Groove Mail, um, and I'm going to go into Forms, and I'm going to go into Forms here and create a new form. I'm just going to call this TikTok. And you can see here, nice little format, really simple, one, two, three, four, five um, different fields. So here we can um, add or edit or modify any of these uh, existing fields, custom fields. Uh, I think I'm just gonna stick with the current, the first name and email, that's all I really require. Uh, at the moment there's no option to, to uh, edit the button, which again, I'm sure that will come. Or you can add a new field from down here, same thing, you can choose from the drop down, or you can create a custom. But as I say, I'm just gonna stick with first name and email and click save and next. So you can select for single opt-in or double opt-in and the success page of where they're gonna send them to. Uh, let me just grab, I don't know if I've got a thank you page, or maybe I have, let me have a look. That's right. Um, so I'm gonna just grab the link from there and then I'm gonna go and put that in over there. So after they've opted in, it's gonna take them to there. I'm gonna click save and next. So again, you've got some, some uh, settings here, send by SMS, this is obviously coming soon, send by email or don't send, this is your welcome email. Definitely want to send a welcome email. And I'm just gonna quickly just paste in something from a, a different email, I'm not gonna rewrite this. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly go and grab in like our welcome email template. And I'm gonna paste that in here. Uh, it's spacing it out a bit ugly because I've just copied from somewhere else, but that's fine. So you can see in here, it's got the, the normal kind of wissy wig builder. I'm just gonna space that out a little bit better. And obviously we would then go and modify this. That's fine. So again, you can see down here, you've got your dynamic variables. You can, if I, I keep scrolling like that, sorry. If I want to add that there, I can click on it and then it asks me, do I want it in the subject line or inside the body? No, I want it inside the body. It's just replicate, that's all. Same thing with these, email, phone number, company, address, etc. And you've got all your normal bolds and um, you can change the size of the font. You can change what kind of font it is, the colors, the, the, um, the font over here. So that's pretty straightforward. Save the next, and obviously this is my sender details, so I've set up my sender details in my settings, and then I've verified, verified that. This is where you can subscribe people to lists and tags. I don't have a TikTok list set up right now, so I'll just do it as a, a default, and click add. And tags, you can assign a tag as well. Again, I haven't set one up for, for TikTok, but I'll just do those, and I'll go back and then add a, a tag and we'll build out a sequence in another video. So I'll do a follow-up video to this um, tomorrow. Uh, don't subscribe to any sequence, yes. So then again, same thing. You can see how it subscribes them to a specific sequence. So all very straightforward, very easy. And then that's it. It gives you the raw HTML or the JavaScript. I'm just gonna copy that and go back over to this page. Uh, I wanna go on the first page and I wanna create a pop-up. I may have already done that, I don't know. Um, okay, I have. Let's put that there. I'm just gonna go in and, and highlight all the code and get rid of it. Now paste that code back in, click save. And now I can obviously change the sizing, etc. here if I want. Um, so you can see down there, it's gonna take their first name and email. And I'm gonna click save and exit. And then obviously I need to Make sure that the button is triggering the pop-up. So let's go in and configure. Pop-up one, I think that's what it was. I'm just gonna update that, that looks fine. 
and then we'll quickly just go in and test it. I'll publish this page. I'm just using the cust uh, the group pages subdomain, and I'm gonna open that over here. So that looks okay, and then we're gonna click that. Boom, we haven't done anything here to make it look nice. But I'm just gonna do uh, Rob test. And I'll use this email. And then click submit. Oh, so that didn't trigger me to go to the next page. So let's just check our settings. And it wasn't in here, it was in our Groove Mail. So I'm going to save and exit and then go back into it. So this was okay. Opt in setting success page. Hmm, interesting. It was actually set up correctly. Hmm. Okay. Um, opt in, single opt in. It's all looking okay. I'll double check to see if it sent me the email. So I'm just going to go through and save the rest of this here. What do we add tags, demo, sequences. Okay, that's cool. I'm just going to go and copy and grab that code across again. the only thing it didn't do was send me to the correct page but the setting looks like it is <clears throat> set up correctly the only thing was I maybe I didn't wait long enough so maybe I'll pause the video for a second and I'll try again okay so I just waited a minute or so uh, I'm just gonna do control f5 just to try and clear any cache I've got on this page and then I'm going to try and opt in again. I'm going to use Rob test again, but I'm going to change the email. Let's go to support if I'm just qualified. <coughs> and click submit. Okay. Um, so again, as, as I know, it's obviously still in beta. Um, we're only just getting access to it. So, um, but that's how you set the form up. It should have fought. It did on the previous one. Um, in fact, I'll show you here. The previous one we set up this morning, it worked perfectly. So if I go and, um, so it's just a glitch in that one, or it's my cacheing, probably more my cacheing, I haven't cleared my cache. So this one we set up this morning before we did this video. And we'll test this one again and see if this works. This is a new, uh, okay, we go there, it's the correct link. I'm going to do control F5 again. And I'm going to do that. And I'm going to change that email there. Let's do CRS. Okay. Click submit. So you can see that one's working perfectly. It might have been something I've done. Uh, may have been just a, a glitch, may have been a, a cookie issue. But yeah, you can see very quickly we can set up a form. We can then go in and create a sequence. We'll do that in the next video. I'll, um, I'll add the tags and I'll add the sequence in the next video. So after you've watched this one, um, there'll be another one coming tomorrow. Um, also, go down below, comment, let me know uh, any questions you have about GrooveMail or any other Groove softwares. Like and do the usual subscribe and click the bell. And over here on the left now, there'll be some additional videos popping up. And watch out for tomorrow's video where we'll go in and create the sequence, the tags, and just start following through now with getting GrooveMail set up and showing you what happens inside of GrooveMail once people have opted in. All right, bye for now.